In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to make Christmas lights so that you can use it for your t-shirt designs and create t-shirts that look like this. Let's go! Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005 and my channel is all about helping you to learn how to design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you want to learn how to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So in this video, I wanted to teach you how to draw Christmas lights. And you've probably seen designs all over the internet on Amazon and Redbubble with something wrapped in Christmas lights, either a cat, a dog, a pizza, flamingo, anything, right? So you can take anything, any object that you find on clip art, or you know, I'm gonna use an example from Merchant Former where they have clip art, and I'm gonna wrap it in Christmas lights, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do in Affinity Designer. And that's gonna take this design that you have and take it and make it better and make it your own. So this technique not only helps you make it more of a Christmas design, but it makes your design stand out because nobody else will have it because you're doing one for yourself. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. First starting with the Christmas light and then making it wrap around something. I'm gonna take a design from Merchant Former so I don't have to draw anything. And I'm just gonna wrap, I'm just gonna show you how to do the Christmas lights around it. and. Uh, I'm going to do all of this in Affinity Designer, so it's going to be really simple. I'm going to show you step by step on how to do it. You're going to want to stay till the end to see the final product. So let's get into Affinity Designer and I'll show you how simple it is. So here we are in Affinity Designer. I just started an artboard here and you can see this Christmas light. This is what we're going for. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to do it. It's just two shapes. So the first shape that we're going to start with is the ellipse. So we're going to go here to the ellipse tool right here. Click on this and draw your ellipse about the same size, just like that. And we're gonna wanna change the stroke and the color. So the color inside, uh, you probably wouldn't start with a stroke here. You'll probably start with a color. So let's do that. So the color, I'm just gonna make 50 yellow. And it can be whatever. We're gonna change the colors in, in a moment, but we're gonna start with this yellow. And then a stroke, we want it black, so totally black and make sure your stroke is thick. You might have started with a small stroke like this. Just make it bigger on your stroke palette. I'm going to use 10 in this example, but you know, you're going to eyeball it depending on what size you're making your, your lights here. So you can see it's kind of like this one. The only difference is it comes to a point, right? Christmas lights come to a little point here. So the way to do that is we're going to click on this and click convert to curves. So convert to curves, click on that. Now it's points where we can uh, manipulate the points. So click on the node tool here and then click on this again. We're going to manipulate the top point and the bottom point. So go to this convert right here and this is how you can convert your corners. So you can make it either a sharp corner, you can make it a smooth corner, and you can make it a smart corner. Um, we're going to use smart corner right now. So click on smart corner and this one smart corner as well. And you can see it comes to a nice rounded point, kind of like that. And if you want to make it thinner or fatter, you can still click on the uh, black arrow or the move tool and then just make it thinner like that or thicker, right? Depending on what you want. The second shape is a rectangle. So let's just go to the rectangle tool, click on that. And we're going to use the exact same uh, stroke width on it, but we're going to, instead of filling it with yellow, we're going to fill it with black. So go to the color palette again, click on the fill and fill it with black. And then we're going to adjust this. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right. So we're going to move these just right where it kind of touches. So you can see that kind of where it touches and then move this up or down. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just eyeballing Christmas lights, the illusion of Christmas lights, right? All right, so that kind of looks like, it's not exactly like this one, but it kind of looks like a Christmas light, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect. And you wanna make these two aligned together. So one way to do that is to click on this here, align center right here and you can see they're both aligned center. Perfect. One last thing that you wanna do is select all of these, these two, go to your stroke palette, and make sure you 
have it selected scale with object. By default, it's not selected, so you're going to have to click it. And then what that does is, let me go out of here, so zoom back out so you can see what it does. So the, the stroke is going to scale with the design. So let me show you what I mean. Holding down shift, you can see bigger or smaller, that width stays proportional to the drawing, right? So we want that because we don't know what size we need this right now. It all depends on the graphic we're going to use. And I'm going to show you how to get a graphic real easy from Merchant Former, but we're going to use this around the picture. And so we, we kind of have to adjust as we go. So let's go to Merchant Former so I can show you where I got my graphic from. So here I am on Merch Informer. I signed in and right at the top here, Merch Informer Graphics, if you click on that, if you've not seen this before, they have graphics, 100 graphics every month. And so October, September, August, I'm gonna use one that I found in October, 2021. You just have to download this. And the one I'm gonna use is a snowman. So I'm gonna show you in Affinity Designer that you can go in there, it's an EPS. So you can go in there and change the colors and do different things if you want. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do that. And then put the Christmas lights on the snowman and we're gonna have a great design. So let's get back to Affinity Designer and I'll show you what I mean. So here's the snowman that I got from Merchant Former. You can see it's an EPS and it's broken up into different layers. So you can see right here, uh, the different things, the different colors, and that just makes it real easy to color. So if you don't like the color of this um, hat right here, I want it a little darker. So you can click on it and you can see it's all grouped here in the layers palette. So all I have to do is go into color and you can see the color is kind of muted. I'm gonna just pump it up to a dark red right there. And if you don't want the highlights, you want the, those shadows to be a little darker, you can click on those shadows as well. And you can see, um, I'm gonna make those a little darker. And so real easy to change the colors on these Merchant Former graphics. They're EPSs. If you have Affinity Designer, you can change the color. Let's say you want the nose a different orange. Well, it's right here. And you can make it just a darker orange, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change some of the colors on here. Maybe I want this uh, snowman just a little more white. So you can see it's kind of off-white with that two cyan. I'm gonna bring it all the way down to zero, right? So things like that. So, so I'm gonna use this graphic now. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap a cord around it to um, simulate the Christmas lights. So let me show you how to do that. So as you can see, I put the snowman graphic on my artboard. So this is the Merch by Amazon artboard size. And I made sure that it's right about the size that I want it. I don't want to go edge to edge. I kind of want to leave a space here and here. And I have my Christmas light right here. And I'm going to see kind of what size I want to put the Christmas light first to kind of give it a, you know, size, uh, know what size to use. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to hold down shift with my lights and kind of just scroll down and maybe turn it a little. Let's see. Yeah, so something like that. So I want to use a string that's about the width of this right here. So if I click on this and I click on stroke, you're going to see that it's uh, 4.2 points. So about four points, five points, somewhere in the middle there. So I'm going to take my pen tool, click on the pen tool right here, and I'm just going to draw a line like this just wrapping around the snowman. You can see how easy it is. And then make sure that it's the right point size. So we said 4.2, you know, you could do four or 4.5. Let's do 4.5 right there. And so you can see that's kind of the right size. Whoops, make sure to group these. I forgot to group these. Select both and hit Command G. Okay, so they're grouped. And then you can turn it and you can see how easy it is. Let's zoom in how easy it is to line it up here. So it, it works perfectly. And then you can adjust this line with the node tool. So let's say it goes here, kind of wraps around. So make sure that this looks like it's wrapping, right? Adjust like that. So let's zoom back out and make sure this is touching. So all you have to do is have this touch the line right there you see that kind of looks like it's on the line so so i'm going to use the lines the pen tool 
to make different lines around the snowman, different places around the arms, like this, around the body. And then I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like after that. So you can see here now I've wrapped around the, the snowman uh, a cord here just with the pen tool. So clicking around and around. So you can see I got around the hands and around here. You just want to do it. You don't want to just do it around and around. Give it some variety. So you can see some of them are high, some of them are low. And that's just how you know Christmas lights work, right? You don't just wrap it like diagonally. So kind of have fun with it. Have it drop down, have it wrap around the arms or whatever it is, the face. Uh, you could have, I could have even done it around the nose, would have been cute. One thing I did is to add a plug right here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the plug. So real easy to do. This is just a rounded uh, rectangle. So click right here, rounded rectangle. And you don't need the stroke on this point. So I'm going to take out the stroke right here and just do a rounded rectangle. Uh, and you can adjust the roundness of it. So click on here and you can see the corner. I can make it rounder or less round. So something like that. Convert this to curves there. And then I'm going to knock out the bottom or flatten the bottom. So I can do it like that. And I'm going to select both of these and knock out the front or subtract the front. So you can see how easy that is. If you want it longer, you know, you could take these and grow it like that. And then the bottom plugs are just these rounded rectangles again. So I'm going to put them down like this. But if you want it more uh, at a point, you can take this corner again and then make it really big like that. So you can see it's totally round now. And I can just do two holding down option and shift drag like that. So there's your plug really easy, right? And then just connect it. Once you have your plug, you just add it to the bottom here. So, okay. So the next part of this is to add these bulbs, these light bulbs everywhere. So let me just zoom in or move this right here so you can see. And so you're going to copy. So hit down option and drag. So I'm going to drag this up maybe over here and then you're just going to turn them to match the line like we sh like I showed earlier. So, you know, maybe put one right here and then kind of space them out. Maybe put one a little longer here. And then turn it. So you want this this bottom to match the top right there. You see how that's right there and then just connect it. So that's all you need to do. I'm going to start putting these um, bulbs everywhere around here. You don't need to watch me do it. So it's going to be all around here and that's going to be the next point. Let me show you what that looks like after that's done. So we're back now and you can see the lights are everywhere, right? Some of them I uh, had them go up and some of them go down. That's just to give it some variety. So you can see up on the face here, right here around. So it looks really cool, right? Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is color the light. So it's real easy to do. Let's zoom in so you can see what I'm going to do here. So you can use whatever color you want. I'm going to just click on the lights. You can see how it's grouped right here and you open the group and just select the oval one. And you can see the oval right now, like we had at 52, 50%. I'm going to make this one blue and just going to do a cyan color. See how easy that is. So let's say we want that one yellow. So we're going to click on this one right here. And let's say I want to make that one red. I'll just click on this and, you know, change the color to red. Maybe it's not that dark red. Maybe it's like a light pastel -y red like that. So I'm going to go in and change the colors of these bulbs just to give it a little more variety and add some color. I'm going to come back and I'll show you what it looks like when all the Christmas lights are colored. I'm going to use yellow, green, red, and blue, but you can use whatever color you want. Have fun with the colors that you pick. So we're back here. You can see the different colors that I use. I got green, red, yellow, blue. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see. Pretty cool, right? Uh, so one more thing that I'm going to do is I want to put this on a dark color t-shirt. So let me zoom out just a little bit. You can click on the artboard and somebody taught me this. I didn't know about this. This is really cool. So click on the artboard. You can see the artboard right here and you can just change the background color of the artboard like this. So I'm envisioning this on a red t-shirt because it's Christmas 
And you can see it's pretty good like that, but I kind of want some white behind it. And so I'm going to use some words and I'm going to use ho 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 three times. I'm going to show you how I do that. You don't have to copy this or, or use these words at all, but I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, click on the text tool right here and click right there and type in the word ho. I'm going to uh, use the shift key caps lock H O and exclamation point. And I'm going to make this bigger. You can see I'm using the font called watermelon. Uh, and just nice thick font and I like that because I want to fill in a lot of the space so I'm gonna zoom in here like that whoops and move it down and I'm gonna take some guides you can see if I pull down the guides they're not exactly straight right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert these to curves and I'm gonna move these around so Click on this, make sure that it's close by and, you know, straight like that. This one's kind of tall, so I'm going to move it in and I'm just going to make it like that and move this bottom one. You can just select this and move it down. And then I'm going to make this a little thicker. So I'm going to select all these points and I'm going to move it up. Whoops, I moved this one up too much. Move that back down. And then these points right here, I'm going to move it down right there. So oh, something happened right here. I'm going to zoom in and fix this problem. So it looks like that stretched too much too. So, all right, zoom back out. So ho, 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 that looks good. And you can see I, I probably made that just a little too thick. Yeah, that works. Okay. So let's use that and I'm going to group this again. Well, it's already grouped and I'm going to do it three times. So ho, 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 like that. And I'm going to select all these three, zoom out. Hey, that kind of looks cool right there too. Uh, I'm going to pull it out like this, use it as my background and send this to the back just so it's on that right there on the white. So the reason I want the white is so they have some contrast and it pops out and you can see how it pops with the color of the lights right here. So that's it. You don't need these lines anymore. So that's how you do it. That's how I do my design. Have fun with this. Hopefully this teaches you some techniques on what to do. You don't want to copy this design exactly. You want to make your own. That's the power of doing this on your own is you can take a graphic from Merchant Former or any of the places that you get your graphics from. You could even draw your graphics if you want and then make it your own by putting these lights around in a certain way, right? So this is going to make your thing stand out. Even if you get the graphics from Merchant Former, nobody's going to wrap the lights and color the lights that you are going to do. So and, and you could add something in the background as well. It could be a tree, could be words, could be something else. Have fun with this one. Make sure to use graphics that people actually are interested in if, that have an audience for. So there's some people that have an audience for snowman, but I'm thinking more like cats and dogs and unicorns and dinosaurs. People really love those kinds of things. Flamingos, think of those things that will just give you an extra um, way to get that audience to look at it. And you don't need words necessarily. I used ho 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 here, but it would work, you know, just with a graphic of a mountain or a tree or something like that. And then that way it would work well in different marketplaces as uh, you know, in the UK and Japan and stuff because there are no words here. So have fun with this one. Make this your own. Don't copy this exactly. Uh, use different graphics and different colors and have just have fun with this and hopefully get some sales this Q4. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you liked that video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit a subscribe um, button right there. You can subscribe to my channel if you love doing this kind of artwork and learning how to design and sell t-shirts online. So before I leave this video, before I end, I wanted to ask a question of the day. And the question of the day is this, what graphic would you use to put Christmas lights on? I gave some suggestions, you know, dog, cat, flamingo, but if there's some other things that you think you want to put your designs on, you don't have to tell me where you got the graphic, but it'd be cool to uh, see what you're thinking of putting it on 
uh, different objects and things like that. So let, share it with me, put it in the comments, let me know what you would put your Christmas lights on. Uh, it'll be a fun thing to hear about. The more creative, the better, right? So thanks so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more videos like this on how to design different things, putting on t-shirts and selling t-shirts online, click on these videos right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.